Well, good evening, everybody. This is WBKB meteorologist Ryan Crump. Hope you're all having a good evening so far. Hope you're staying warm. Despite the sunshine we saw today, we still saw a uh, felt pretty cold out there and with the winds well made it feel a lot colder but it feel like it was in the 20s today now again tomorrow we're going to see a, a big change in terms of our temperature we're going to start to warm up as you might have noticed here Thursday through Sunday, we're going to see a warming trend in the forecast. We're going to start seeing more 40s and 50s in the forecast. Then we could possibly break a record temperature on our Sunday, which an old record, uh, current record right now is 47 degrees right now for two, back in 2006 for December the 17th. We have a good chance of breaking that. But there will be colder temperatures going back into the early part of next week. I'll show you that on my seven day forecast. Now, again, Alpina made it up to 35 degrees today, guys, 35. That's pretty much what we should be for this time of the year. 56 being a record high back in 2015. 1995 saw a record low of negative nine degrees. Again, sunrise is at 8.05. So it's after eight o'clock once again. And of course the sun goes down before five o'clock. Keep in mind, guys, the shortest day of the year will be on a, a week from Thursday, December the 21st. That'll be our first day of winter and our shortest day of the year. After that, our days begin to get longer. So, well, with the temperatures, well, don't feel very much like that. Feels pretty mild for this time of the year. Our average high should be about 34 degrees. And looking at this, well, doesn't look like that's going to be anywhere around 34. It looks like it's going to be around maybe uh, upper 40s and low 50s. Until we get to the early part of next week, where we're going to see a cooling trend once again in the next five days. So, yes, you're waking up tomorrow morning, we're going to wake up to a chilly one. It's going to be about 29 degrees for an overnight low, or well, actually 29 at the time. And then we're going to go to about 49 degrees with plenty of sunshine in the area. And, yes, well, as we go to the evening hours, it's going to cool down to 41 degrees. So, yes, the next 7 to 10 days, well, we're going to see well above average temperatures. And this is going to go through the Rockies, through the Plains, the Great Lakes, the Midwest, even parts of the Northeast is going to see well above average temperatures. And this is going to go through December to 22nd. So yes, yeah, going to feel more like late October, early November over here, opposed to December. And that's definitely good news for me because I like it warm. Now, winds will continue to be an issue too. Now, right now, winds are uh, light and variable. They're about five mile an hour wind gusts right now in Alpena. About 11 in Tawas at this hour, probably the strongest wind gusts. But guys, winds will be begin to pick up. I'll show you that in just a second. And windshield makes it feel like it's 23 and my, uh, on the way and 23 in Atlanta, 29 in Mile, 29 in West Branch, makes it feel like it's 28 in Alpena, but 20 in Oscoda, 26 in Harrisville. So yes, with the winds, makes it feel a little bit more uncomfortable outside if you step out. So you do need to bundle up. Now, we are going to see a winds will continue to be a factor. Well, some of these are sustained wind gusts at 10, 15, or 20 miles an hour in some spots, making it feel like it's in the 20s and teens outside. And yes, wind gusts, actual force of wind could be as high as 35 to close to 40 miles an hour. Now, a good thing, the winds are going to be coming out of the southwest. And again, with the winds and the sunshine, we're going to see warmer temperatures in our area. We're going to be talking about uh, 40s and 50s. But guys, even with this cold front, we're going to still remain quite warm for this weekend. It's going to bring us some rain chances in the forecast here, opposed to snow. So yes, again, very good chance of seeing some precipitation. And it's going to be, in, again, in the form of rain, opposed to snow at this time of the year. So yes, I'll definitely take that the next three days, especially going to your late on your Friday until your Saturday. So tonight, well, go ahead to bundle up when you are going out, guys, because guess what? It's going to be partly cloudy. And again, it's going to be cool. It's going to be cooler than the most nights has been. Lower temperatures are going to be about 24 in Rise City, 21 in Alpena, 25 in Oscola, 27 in Taiwan, so 20 in Onaway. Yes, 20. I wouldn't be surprised if some of these inland areas, guys, gets down into the teens as we go to the overnight hours. Now, winds will be out of the southwest at 10 miles an hour, or gusts as high as 25 miles an hour, which is going to make it feel like it's in the teens in most of our spots. Now, tomorrow, it's going to be partly sunny, it's going to be mild, and it's going to be windy, guys, but it's going to be warmer. That's the biggest difference. It's going to be warmer. The warming trend begins on our Thursday, and temperatures are going to respond to the sunshine and the southwest winds. Look at the temperatures compared to the last couple of days when we were stuck in the 30s. We were going to see 40 degree temperatures, 40s, upper 40s as, as a matter of fact, 47 in Alpena, all the way down through uh, Roger City, Harrisville, Oscoda, 
Tawas is at 46, West Branch at 46, at 45 degrees in Atlanta. So yes, look at this seven day forecast, guys. This is fan diddly tastic for you know, the month of December, guys. We're talking about 49 degrees on Thursday, 52 on Friday, 44 on Saturday. Well, yes, we do have some rain in the forecast. But look at Sunday. Sunday we could potentially break a record high temperature. Again, back in 2006, the old record stands at 47 degrees. I'm forecasting, guys, 49 degrees. And then a cold front comes through, guys. And yes, I'm probably being a little nice and generous with the temperatures here, saying it's going to be 40 on Monday and Tuesday. But I would not be surprised if we're stuck in the 30s on those days. Yes, we might be seeing sunshine, but we, I think we're going to be stuck in the 30s. But when we get closer, I'll give you a, a more of an update on the temperature. But this has been WBKB meteorologist Ryan Crump. I hope you all have a good evening.